Welcome to Olympic College's 74th Commencement Ceremony. I am Dr. Mary Garjewel, Vice President for Instruction. I have the pleasure of serving as Master of Ceremonies for today's graduation ceremony. Before we begin this important ceremony, we would like to do a land acknowledgement. At this time, I would like to introduce Brandon Kearns. Olympic College honors and acknowledges that the land on which we meet, learn, and work is the Aboriginal territory of the people of the Clear Salt Waters, specifically the Suquamish and Duwamish tribes for O.C. Bremerton and O.C. Polsbo, and the Squaxin Island and Skokomish tribes for O.C. Shelton. We also acknowledge and appreciate the enduring presence and deep traditional knowledge of the indigenous people with whom we share this land today. We pay our respects to the people of the clear salt waters and their elders, past, present, and emerging. We also acknowledge the important role the Suquamish, Duwamish, Squaxin Island, and Skokomish tribes continue to play within the territory of the people of the clear salt waters. Thank you, Brandon. Family, friends, and graduates, please stand for the singing of the national anthem led by Ms. Jessica Soltero. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the If you are standing, you may be seated. Thank you, Jessica, for that beautiful singing of the national anthem. At this time, I am pleased to introduce the members of the platform party. Ms. Harriet Bryant, Board of Trustees Chair. Dr. Marty Cavaluzzi, President. Mr. Trevor Ross, OC Foundation Executive Director. And Mr. Kennedy Oching, Class of 2021 student speaker. We also wish to recognize our interpreter, Ms. Kira Horn. Thank you for participating in today's ceremony. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Marty Cavaluzzi, President of Olympic College. Good afternoon. Welcome to the 74th Olympic College Commencement Ceremony. This is my favorite day of the academic year because it is the culmination of all of your hard work. It is truly an honor and privilege to be here with all of you as we celebrate the graduating class of 2021. Like many of you, I earned an Associate of Arts degree from a community college. Going to community college turned my life around and like many of our employees, it made such a profound impact on me that I wanted to work at a community college and give back. And now here I am. I would like to begin this program by acknowledging our faculty and staff from Olympic College who give 100% of their knowledge, passion, and heart to help students reach their academic goals and follow their dreams. Thank you. Graduates, while we're on the topic of acknowledging caring and supporting people, let's take a moment to recognize all the other people participating in this event today who have supported you while you earned your degrees. 
Can I get a round of applause for the moms, dads, the grandparents, the spouses, the partners, the kids, and other family members, as well as the friends who are here today, who helped you and supported you? This is a celebration, after all. I hope you have family members, friends, and loved ones with you today as we celebrate your achievements. I do want to acknowledge one segment of our graduation population that gives their all. Those are our graduates who are heading to military service for our country. In addition, there are many people in this audience who have fought for this country. There are very few examples of true altruism, but serving in the military is the best example I can think of. Can I get a round of applause for those students heading to military service, as well as all the veterans in the audience at home today. We have over 1,000 active duty and veterans at Olympic College. We thank you for your service. This year's graduating class has earned 1,439 degrees and over 1,000 certificates. A little background on our student population. Our oldest graduate is 67 years old, and the youngest is just 16 years old. That is a spread of 51 years. To all the people in the audience, use these two extremes as inspiration. You are never too young or too old to earn a degree. We also have 14 international students graduating, which is impressive as they had to live in another country to pursue a college degree and during a pandemic when they could not fly home to see family and friends when they needed to. In addition, we have 52 high school students who will be receiving their diplomas today. And I would also like to acknowledge the 208 graduates from the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard and Intermediate Maintenance Facility. You have chosen clear career pathways and your work is admirable. In addition, 20% of our graduates are the first ones in their family to go to college. That is a huge achievement as these students were the first ones in their family to try and figure all this out, to try and navigate college and learn how to be successful in an environment that often seems scary and strange. They are true pioneers and leaders in their families and they are about to propel their families to new and exciting places. We also have 141 Running Start students earning both high school diplomas and college degrees. It takes a tremendous amount of planning, maturity, and commitment to pull that off. Last but not least, we're awarding 60 Olympic College bachelor's degrees, including 10 in nursing. And as you know, nurses are needed now more than ever. But let us not understate the magnitude of everyone's accomplishments. Please do not think that one group of graduates is more deserving of praise and acknowledgement than another. Every single graduate has a story to tell. Graduating from college is no small task. It takes focus and determination to finish a rigorous and demanding program of study like the ones you've completed. Every graduate has struggled has made sacrifices and has had to make the decision to continue on their education or not. The graduates here today are the winners. They are the leaders in their families and the community and they are destined to do great things in their lives. Here's the last statistic I want you to know and it involves all of our students. 100% of our students earn their degrees and certificates during a global pandemic. I hope you are as proud of yourself as everyone at Olympic College is of you. When you interview for a new job or a career, I hope you use this as an example of the kind of person you are and as an example of having tenacity and fortitude. In addition to all the normal stresses of going to college, you earned your degrees and certificates while mostly taking classes remotely. Speaking for all employees at Olympic College, we are proud of every graduate here. May I get a round of applause for all the graduates in the audience today? <laughs> graduates, soon you will receive your diplomas. And then, when you are signaled to do so, you will move your tassels from the right side of your cap to the left, 
symbolizing your transition from a student of Olympic College to a graduate and alumnus of the college. I can tell you that you've made the right decision by earning a college degree, and in particular, a degree from Olympic College. For many of you, your educational pathway ends today, and you will soon go to have exciting careers. Keep pushing until you find the position you've worked hard for. You can have it. Even in this economy, there will always be jobs, and you, know, you only need one opening. Go get it. For others, your educational journey will continue at universities around the nation, state, and even right here in Kitsap County. We are fortunate at Olympic College to offer bachelor's degrees in digital filmmaking, computer information systems, nursing, and organizational leadership and technical management. We also partner with Washington State University to offer pathways into their electrical and mechanical engineering programs at our Bremerton campus. And through our partnership with Western Washington University, OC graduates access to a dozen de bachelor degree programs in fields like environmental science, business administration, early childhood education, and others available at our Bremerton and Paulsbo campuses. As I look out, Upon the 2021 Olympic College graduating class, I am in awe of your accomplishments, your diverse backgrounds and perspectives, and your determination and drive. To conclude, I am so grateful to have this opportunity to speak with all of you today. Congratulations on your tremendous achievements, and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Please keep in touch so we know how you're doing and where you are. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Cavaluzzi. I would now like to introduce Ms. Harriet Bryant, Board of Trustees Chair. Congratulations, Class of 2021. You all are a class act. You all deserve to celebrate and be proud of yourselves. Yes, it's very upsetting that we couldn't have a traditional graduation ceremony, and sadly, we cannot control the circumstances that we face today. But what we can do is choose how we respond as we take these next steps in life. It's hard to imagine what life could look like as time progresses and the only certainty that we have is that time goes on and the future will arrive. We can use the pandemic as an excuse for why we can't move on in life or we can use it as a motivator to find our purpose. Losing this year to this virus was not what ha we had planned but it's definitely an experience that will affect our lives forever, a memory that we will never forget. Learning from the pandemic experiences, this class did not victimize itself. By studying more and mastering new material with the help of your amazing teachers, with the added responsibilities of helping more at home, working an essential job and other challenges that come with being isolated at home, it seemed impossible to keep up with the schoolwork, but you did it. You had to face a multitude of barriers with an unrelenting will to succeed. You are standing here today despite all of the setbacks, all of the obstacles, and because of your drive and your perseverance, your willpower to endure is stronger than any deterrent. We are made up of our experiences and memories. All of these things that we have been through up to this point make us who we are, and the best part is we're not done yet. We'll continue to experience things and make memories every day that will mold us into who we truly are and who we are meant to become. As we move on from this place and embark on the next big journey of life, whether that's more college, the workforce, or something else, life will at some point begin to feel like it's going too fast. When life becomes too much like a race for you, I encourage you to find that one thing that allows you to unwind and refocus when life becomes too much to handle. Now that you've made it to this point, it's time to take a ride as we share this experience together here at Olympic College. Something that is both exciting and terrifying. It's called freedom. You sit atop, at, you sit atop this point in life as college graduates and now have the freedom to choose who you are and where you will go. A couple things to remember, be nice to people, trust those seeds of freedom, and a little respect truly goes a long way. You never know when you'll need to fall back on someone, so build strong connections. 
early and maintain them. Surprisingly, the phrase, I don't know, is powerful. By admitting ignorance, you're asking to learn. More certainly, you will come upon a hard stop, and I hope that when you do, it will cause you to pause and ask for a hand of enlightenment so that you might come back from that hard stop experience, knowing more than what you, when you started. Life rarely hands you a golden opportunity, so make one just like you did today of obtaining your college degree. Just as a tornado creates a path in the wake of its destruction, just as the COVID-19 pandemic isolated us and caused us to re reinvent the way we do life, this class of 2021 just created their own hope for the future by enduring to the end. As we're a mass and socially distanced 2021 graduates, hear me say, look for the joy. As Michelle Obama once said, you should never view your challenges as a disadvantage. Instead, it is important for you to understand that your experience of overcoming is actually one of your biggest advantages. One of the top songs on the Billboard music charts is Save Your Tears by The Weeknd and Ariana Grande. In it, they tell the person to save their tears for another day. After this past year, we've struggled together, we've cried together, and we've experienced loss together. But graduates, today is a new day. Save your sad tears for another day. Here is my charge to you. Don't just look for a job, look for the horizon because if you do not discover it, it will forever remain a secret. Somewhere while on your journey, don't forget to turn around and enjoy the view. This graduating class of 2021 who have been through so much, we have an opportunity to change the path to one of reckoning and remembrance in order to contend with our past and shape our future. Olympic College graduating class of 2021, the Board of Trustees and Olympic College faculty and staff salute you. Congratulations. Thank you, Chair Harriet Bryant. I would now like to introduce Mr. Kennedy Oching, Class of 2021 student speaker. I'd like to start my speech by first acknowledging our president, Dr. Martin Kabaluzi, our Board of Trustees, and most importantly, the reason we're all here today, this graduating class of 2021. To the class of 2021, I would like to start my speech by saying, congratulations, you have made it to graduation. I know today must be one exciting day because this is the day when all your tears and all your hard work pays off. This is the day when effort meets opportunity. This is the day when like chicks, we get to leave the coop and transition to a different phase of life. I believe that graduation is just not any other life event. I believe that graduation has to be the most memorable life event because this is the point where you look back at how much you've grown as an individual. You look back at all the challenges you have had to overcome to get to this point. This is the point where you get to look back and reflect at how much you've grown as a person, to how much you've grown as, as an individual, to how much you've grown as a student, to how much you've grown as a brother, to how much you've grown as a sister, to how much you've grown as a son, or to how much you've grown as a daughter. You get to look back at how much you've grown as a partner. I know this past year has been one difficult year. But this class of 2021 has proven one thing. That when faced with adversity, we make ways to succeed. And that has to be our greatest trait. We have had to navigate a new form of learning online learning. A few years ago, if you walked up to me and you told me that at one point the whole world will shut down, I would not have believed it. Neither one of us would, but it happened. As a result, we got depressed. We got fatigued, both mentally and physically. We gave up a part of ourselves that 
we can never get back. We had to isolate and adapt to a new normal. But as individuals, you fought through that and got to this point. This past year, we might have lost people or opportunities. We might have lost friends. We might have lost family. We might have even missed out on our sophomore years of sports or club events. But despite that loss, you made it to this particular point. I lost someone close to me. I lost my mother. And that loss was particularly hard for me because I fell into depression. But I fought through that and got out of, rose from my ruins. See, my mother was very instrumental in helping me navigate working both as an international student office assistant and at IT. She gave me tips on how to grow as a leader. Tips that when I had to captain my cross country and track and field team to what was a different year of sports, I felt like my team did the best it could. Every single day, we showed up and showed out. We left every single thing we could on that truck. And I believe we had a successful short season. This class has proven one thing, that we are warriors, that we are fighters. And my message to you today is simple. As you might have seen in the past year, working together will take us places. There's a proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go with others. I would like for you to look back at how much you have grown as an individual. Reflect and realize that you are no longer the same person you were two years ago when you joined Olympic College. I want you to look back and know that you are perfect the way you are and that you have done every single thing to the best of your ability to be here today. And you deserve any form of praise and recognition that you are going to get from this point going forward because you have worked for that. To conclude, I would like to quote Dr. Martin Luther King. He says, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But by all means, keep moving. Thank you and congratulations to this class. Thank you, Kennedy, for sharing your wisdom and your insights with the class today. It is much appreciated. Students at Olympic College may graduate with various honors depending upon the degree they are receiving. Please note that students with special honors are designated in the commencement guide. Those completing the Bachelor of Science in Nursing, the Bachelor of Applied Science in Information Systems, the Bachelor of Applied Science in Organizational Leadership and Technical Management, and the Bachelor of Applied Science in Digital Filmmaking at Olympic College may graduate with honors of cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude. Those graduating with the distinction of cum laude have achieved a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.74. Those graduating with the distinction of magna cum laude have achieved a grade point average of 3.75 to 3.89. Those graduating with the distinction of summa cum laude 
have achieved a grade point average of 3.9 to 4.0. Dean scholars are associate degree graduates who have achieved a 3.5 to 3.89 college level grade point average. President scholars are associate degree graduates who have achieved a 3.9 to 4.0 college level grade point average. Of this group of president scholars, there are graduates who have maintained a 4.0 GPA in all classes at Olympic College and are president medal recipients. These medals will be mailed to the recipients this next month. The President's Medal recipients are Raychek Melanson, Chantel Bigelow, Laura Macero, Erna Waller, Renee Woods, David Bailey, Megan Turner, Tina Bogner, Madeline Tellier, Morgan Crane, Nathan Olson, Angelina Jeffers, Jacob McDowell. Congratulations to all of the Presidential Medal recipients. At this time, it is now our pleasure to present the 2021 class roll. Ashley Kyle, Robert Collar, Elena Slavic, Beatrice Urio Stagui, Laura McCaro, Katie Rose Guerin, Rechi Koruk, Amanda Feichner, Sandra Norris, Jerry Bruner, Catherine Regina Druckhammer, Jennifer Lila Bronk, Mary Noel Cloma, Brittany Tapia, Candelaria Herrera Larios, Kimberly Swenson, Subrina Anderson, Karen Lee, Annalicia Wilson, Andrea Crowley, Aisha Mia Richardson, Timothy Bell, Mandy Durfee, Sarah Numkena, Miranda Grace Parmele, Stacy Pardini, Nick Santa Rosa, Bethany J. Holt, Jessica Joe Tyson, Rebecca Hadley, Jessica Hasty, Miley Mayers, Cassandra Marie Wang, Ramelaine Angelis, Emily Alcorn, Chase Bailey, Angelica Batista, Kyle Kobel, Talisha Bland, Adelbert Ramos, Sean Findlay, Chad Markham, David Gailey, Jessica Carter, Nicholas Allen, Charles Bugen, Anthony Campion, Erin McDermott, Nathan Cutler, Thomas Smith, Christopher Evans, Derek Waite, Samuel Bomber, Brooke Warner, Daniel Manning, Michael Masui, Erica Walker, Garrett Huston, William McMore, McKenna Welch, Jonas Eady, David Frisbee, Connor Lund, Erica Jordan, Kurt Rodriguez, Tabitha Typen, Zachary Walls, Oliver Pazinski, Evan Pittman, Stephen Mateo, Trevor Nelson, Ted Lewis, Jan Sedlek Seek, Sarah Kim, Bryant Saylor, Brendan Alfonso, Salvinius S. Harris II, Corey Smoak, Brian T. 
Byer Jr., Shailene Olson, Ashley Jones, Alexander Sherland, Kevin Sarami, Kyle Reed, Nikolai Tweeten, Joseph Matharney, Zachary White, Michelle Lenore Olson, Michael Gutman, Michelle Talmadi, Zachary Anderson, Christian Caraturo, Dustin Phillips, Madeline Bennett, Andrew Nolan. Justin Reed, Nils Eide, Everett Fritz, Gerald Wang, Andrew Schmidt, Isaac Kempf, Deborah Rose Herring, Ryan Bond, Stephen Lawrence, Travis Mesa, Justin Edwards, Anthony Figueres, Cody LaFontaine, Travis Delgado, Caitlin Mann, Todd Bolden, Vincent Johnson, Jeffrey Eisenhower, Cheryl Robinson, Victoria Coppola, Colton Wade, Russell Brunel, Matthew Thon, Donna Joseph, Andrew Ford, Nolan Pittman, Travis Bornhoft, Aaron Gantenbain, Robert Hahn, Carson Marquardt, Carmen Sorensen, Jesse Herring, Shane Rappin, Christopher Silva, Zachary Lashaney, Amanda Lockett, Kerwin Bituin, Tyler Pinkerton, Steve Hofer, Cassandra Irvin, Michael Galloway, Paul Wilhight, Lacey Zimmerman, Joshua Roos, Michael Snyder, Jason Moody, John Adcock, Robert Armstrong, Travis Lafur, Jason Burke, Austin Overton, Connor Swafford, Dave McNabb, John Blake, Austin Kelly, Kaylee Jukowski, Jobert Butler, Robert Azenger, Blake Brown, Timothy Delano, Blake LaCrosse, James Trammell, Nichelle Godell, Anthony Stite, Alex Prozeller, Sean Leonard, Grant Toakowski Koahara, Zachary Cox, Amanda Hodgins, Caleb Oljaden, Sean Phillips, Maria Jose, Randall Colson, Stephen Paul, Quade Beck, Christopher Moore, Chance Smith, Robert Treat, Christopher Sorison, Eris Titus Economo Maquis, Crystal Addy, Richard Knight, Kobe Johnson, Daniel Johnson, Brandon Louie, Steen Howe, Matthew Verrio, Courtney Moreland, Dwight Howe, Jeffrey Smith, Ronnie Ben Dang, Robert Neff, Jose Rogers, Perry Austinbrooks, Alexis Bax Marsh, Spencer Williams, Timothy Boyd, Ashley Bray, Timothy Schultz, 
James McLaughlin, Christian Walters, Joshua Foley, Ashley Megan Landman, Valerie Miller, Thomas Hoyt, Matthias Kramer, Sean de Guzman, Handsome Barton, Tylee Close Applegate, Kristen Brown, Jenna Issa, Jonathan Hansen, Ian Atwood, Nathan Olson, Daniel Bay, Charles White, Toby Chianini, Stephen Platt, Joshua Caldwell, Summer Borcherding, Devin Sutherland, Jonathan Dayton, Francisco Aldana, Sandra Marie Pomerinke, Michael Jones, Christopher Dudek, Jacob Teason, Michael Wesson, Tiana Thayer, Raymond Broussard, Brian Gage, Erica Hobson, Seth Barnes, Andrew Fritz, Alexander Smith, Joseph Sawyers, Travis Sprout, Joshua Euler, Jacob Riley, Angela Gibson, Amanda Shearer, Matthew Riley, Michael Selgren, Richard B. Krusner, Cassandra Welsh, Portia Monique Molina, Christopher Carter, Marilyn Alija Sunlight, Colton Saganika, Sarah King, Joshua Mark Avery Brown, Garrett Jordan, Tiffany Stork, Megan Ward, Dylan Garcia, Jessica Nicole Peel, Christopher Faust, Joshua Guiley, Nicholas Shaparo, Kyle Sigerman, Tristan Pregnell, Andrew Gervaris, Tiza Stout, Cole Nucky, Keenan Blackwood, Kristen Herning, Olivia Masbach, Caleb Kellogg, Maria Francisco Victorino, Alana Roos Caponin, John Baker, Aubrey Monroe, Sheena James, Jessica Fisher, Sarah Groves, Brett Larson, Hannah Gabrielle Collins, Audrey D. Butler, Ona Marie Burkett, Danielle Bosch, Christopher Keen Pedleton, Owen Shaw, Leah Glee Dis, Brittany Miles, Casey Lynn Claymore, Mayu Maline Malik So, Razel Rebelado, Nilani Durbin, Caroline Peterson, Nikes Shakley, Bliss Ogavi, Kelsey McLaughlin, Lauren Holt, Eric Douglas Coburn, Johnny Carell, Haley Saul, Sarah Little, Rochelle Raymond, Tiffany Lynn Strasbaugh, Hannah Marin Whitney, Jenna Harmon, Christina Zamora, Kemmer Davis, Kelly Screen, Trilene Smith, Jamie Bokanugan, Megan Boland, Kevin Chase, Jessica Sauer, Sarah Vaughn, 
Josephine Eliason, Amanda Lane Joan Cochera, Catherine Kipps, Cassandra Lenti, Grace Turgeon, Joseph Royal, Rose Sweet, Katie Sly, Monica DeCousin, Karina Martinez, Caitlin Miller, Bernadette Potter, Michaela Nichols, Jenny Weaver, Courtney Sievertson, Maribel Gordon, Julie Smith, Yulia Vasilyshin, Erin Colby, Crystal Meacham, Coom H. Bird, Hardeep Kaur, Ashley Nicole Sauls, Mauricio Carrillo Contreras, Tiana Angel Mandamba, Andrea Williams, Jennifer Fleckner, Melanie Bauer, Maida Johnson, Noura Mohammed, Angela Marador, Ryan Johnson, Jesse Erica Blake, Aladina Mullinex, Senjog Sony, Sarah Armstrong, Bridget Pug, Destinia Garrett, Pamela Soyvier, Tammy Burham, Lawrence Miguel, Jacqueline Bruner, Matthew Collins, Stephen Prang, Gregory Meadows, Leslie Santiago Sanchez, Matthew Sopper, Siaki Patu, Joseph Kilkenny, Jacqueline Bruner, Isaac Worthington, Christopher Tyner, Lucas Davenport, Samantha Annalise Golden, Jared Angus Whitmore, Garrett Lee Wiley, Timothy Micah Lemke, Wyming Fenton, Linda Turner Edwards, Rachel Sean Bell, Boham Johnson, Isaac Pine, Christopher Keith Thompson, Kazoo Kinney, Patricia Stewart, Heidi Bond, Jessica Scott, Nanaho Masukine Burkhart, Michaela Fisher, Katrina Isling McGirl, Guinevere Arnold, Chantel Elston, Danielle Moon, Elizabeth Reardon, Caitlin Tyrell, Morgan Jane Adams, Alexandra Jacal, Camille Higashi, Amber Shelton, Jacqueline D. Emley, Vincent Alexander Morini, Nicole Marchiori, Deborah Gao, Kristen Marie Lewicki, Nicole Mills, Victoria Mosco, Jackie Marie Jacks, Roselle Rubio, Holly Isha Swope, At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Cavaluzzi to the podium for the conferring of the degrees. Ms. Bryant and President Cavaluzzi, I am honored to present those students of Olympic College who are entitled to receive diplomas and degrees. Will the graduates please rise? As President of Olympic College, under the authority of the Board of Trustees and the State of Washington, 
and upon the recommendation of the Vice President of Instruction, I confer upon you the Olympic College degrees of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Bachelor of Applied Science in Information Systems, Bachelor of Applied Science in Organizational Leadership and Technical Management, Bachelor of Applied Science in Digital Filmmaking, Associate in Arts, Associate in Fine Arts, Associate in Pre-Nursing, Associate of Applied Science Transfer, Associate of Science, Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Business, Associate in Technical Arts, Associate in General Studies, or the High School Diploma, with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. For those Olympic College graduates unable to attend today's ceremony, I confer their degrees in absentia. Graduates, you may now move your tassel to the left. Family and friends, I present to you the graduating class of 2021. Class of 2021, welcome to the Olympic College Alumni Association. Congratulations. You made it through an unprecedented year and are now part of a powerful and amazing community of alumni. The Alumni Association was founded to help you stay in touch with the college and its mission is to develop an alumni community by promoting lifelong learning and professional go growth. I now invite you to join the Olympic College Alumni Association. You can do this by going to Olympic to the Olympic College Foundation dot org backslash alumni. If you have any issues joining the Olympic College Alumni Association, I would encourage you to send me an email at tross at olympic dot edu or to call me on my personal cell phone at 360-620-4601. In addition, I extend myself to you should you need anything in your future. Please don't hesitate to contact me. In conclusion, as you go forth into your future, always listen to your heart and allow it to guide you in all of your future endeavors. Again, I wish you congratulations and good luck. At this time, I wish to thank the members of Olympic College who worked many hours to ensure this event was successful. One of the traditions of commencement is that the platform party, faculty, and staff form congratulation lines on either side of the recession aisle. The graduates then pass between the two lines to receive congratulations. This year, that will look a little different as students will be driving in a line between our celebrating faculty and staff. Graduates, I congratulate you. <laughs>